Eighth grade, in lesson 3-2, we're going to talk about solving equations again. These are two step equations, um, but, but we're adding a step at the beginning, which isn't really part of the solution, but it is making it easier to solve. And so what you'll be doing is simplifying on each side before you start solving, before you start trying to get the variable by itself, okay? Um, so, you know how to do this. We've talked about adding like terms before. Look at this one. 2c plus c plus 12. And if you look at just this side, you can simplify that, can't you? Because if you have two c's and another c, you can combine those to get... Come on. 3c. 3c, thank you. 3c plus 12. And then 3c plus 12 equals 78. And so you, then you can go through the process of solving the equation. Add negative 12 to both sides. So 3c plus 0. Remember, you have to get 0 here. That's why you add the opposite, right? 3c plus 0 equals 66. Then divide by 3, and c equals 22. Okay? So this is the step that we're adding. It's this step right here, where you're adding the C's together before you start solving, before you add the opposite and get the variable by itself. Okay? What do you do in this situation? Look at this. What does this mean? There actually should be another arrow here, right? What does that arrow mean? You have to times the negative 2 by b. Yeah, negative 2 times b, and negative 2 times wow. negative 4. That's we had to insert a plus sign there. Okay? So, whenever you see this pattern, a number outside of parentheses, and then there's something in the parentheses. There's an expression in the parentheses. Whenever you see this pattern, you should think of distribute. Distribute the number. Okay? Number outside of parentheses. You have to multiply the number times everything in the parentheses, okay? Negative 2b plus 8 equals 12. Add negative 8 to both sides. And so on. So there's two steps that we're doing before we start solving. One of them is combining like terms. One of them is distributing a number first. Okay? Sometimes you'll have to do both. Sometimes you'll have to distribute and then combine like terms. All right? Let's look at some more examples. Um, Simplifying these equations. So let's uh, let me take you through this page. Oops. Okay. There we go. Simplifying equations with fractions. Okay. What if you have um, a over seven? plus 5 over 7 equals 12 over 7. What does that mean? Can you just put the number and a equals said number of Mm -hmm. Now, these all have the same denominator, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So then we can get rid of this number. We can add negative 5 sevenths to both sides, right? Yeah. No way. It would equal 7 over 7. That would be 7 over 7, which is? 
It's totally not one. Like a, it is? Yeah, it is. Right. Sorry, guys. Okay. So then A over 7 equals 7 over 7. So A equals 7. Yep. Okay. What if you have to get a common denominator? So, what if we have n over 2 plus, um, let's have 3 over 4 equals negative uh, 2 over 9. What? find a number that all of these numbers go into. Okay? And you can find that always by multiplying. You can multiply all the numbers, but since 2 goes into 4, let's just multiply 4 and 9 to get a number. What's 4 times 9? 36. Let's 4 go into 36. Then it goes in 9 times, right? And... 9 goes into 36 four times. four times. So we're going to change all of these to 36. Even two? Yeah. Yep, because that has to have a... But wouldn't this have to be double? So we've got to multiply this by... Um, how many times would 2 go into 36? Oh, uh, let's see. 18 times, good. 18. So, uh, let me get rid of these questions. This was one half, or sorry, n over 2 plus. And we're going to change this to 36. So, uh, times 18. Yeah, times 18 times 18. And that's 18 and plus, plus 27 over 36. 27, so it's times 9, right? There. And this is times 4. And it's going to be negative, so negative 8, 36. Whoops, we already have a negative there. Negative, negative 8. Be a positive. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, let me show you something. Once we have all of these with the same denominator, we can just ignore the denominators to find what n is. Okay? So now we have them all in the same, with the same denomination. We have all the same size pieces. So we can just write 18 to n plus 27 equals negative 8. Add 27 to both sides. You mean negative 27? Oh, sorry, 27. negative 27. Which would be? Plus 0. Negative 35. Yeah. I'm too smart. Then divide by 18. No idea what that is. Well, it's going to be one and a remainder. So, so negative one, one 